Hi guys, I want to show you how to remove your PEI surface and fix it up um, and replace it with a new one in these next couple Twitter videos. Number one, uh, I've put it in the freezer for about an hour. That'll help loosen up the plate. You can use a pen knife to lift a corner. And then once you get a corner lifted up here, you can grab the plastic. Sheet comes right off. Next, we need to remove the adhesive that's stuck to the surface here. You're gonna need a couple things. Number one, IPA. Number two, razor blades like this. And my tip that I have to speed things up, if you go to Walmart or most hardware stores, they have a nice razor blade on the end of a stick that's about almost the width of the plate. You can speed up this adhesive removing process a lot. Pick one of these up, you'll thank yourself later. All right, next we're gonna remove the adhesive. Use some IPA. We wanna start in the center and work our way out. Apply some IPA. Take your razor blade and always work away from your fingers. Getting it started's a little tricky. Okay, see so and remove chunks of your adhesive as they come off use a paper towel clean them off carefully and continue all the way to the edge using your big scraper as you go you want to keep applying IPA to loosen things up most of it should come off in one big chunk which is the way you want to do it Continue removing this and come back for the next step. With the main adhesive removed, you'll look at the plate and you'll see there are certain sections along the side where it didn't get all the adhesive off. You can use your big razor blade to do that. I find just using a small razor blade around the outside edge helps remove that. You want to go around the outside edge and look for anywhere where you may have missed adhesive and remove that. One other tip to remove the adhesive. Uh, for whatever reason, when you do this, I found with big chunks of adhesive, don't do a scraping motion straight across. Go forward and slice like that, and it will help remove the adhesive quicker. I don't know why, but it does. Scrapes it right off, and just keep working your way around the plate. Okay, as you get towards the end here, uh, one last thing. These razor blades, as you go along the edges, they will get dull because of the glass edge here. So buy a multi-pack of these. I use two razor blades to clean the rest of the gunk off of this. One to get the majority, and then there's going to be a haze on here of some gluey spots. Grab a new sharp one, use some IPA, and scrape those off. What I usually do for the last part is I'll give it a good spray down. And what I do is I go across the whole surface, looking for anywhere where there might be some resistance on the razor blade, which would indicate there's still some glue on here. You don't want any glue. Look for any haze in the glass. If there is, remove it before continuing on to apply your new piece of adhesive and PEI sheet. Now that you're sure all the glue is removed from the bed, you want to go spray it down with IPA. Use a paper towel, maybe a rent-free cloth. Wipe it down, get any of the oil from your fingers off the bed. And don't touch the bed again until you get the new piece of PEI on the glass. Okay, for this next step, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need a new piece of PEI and what we call at my job, a spudger, also known as a, uh, I guess you can use a drywall spackler, whatever. You can get these really cheap. I found also, I put a piece of blue painter's tape over the end because originally when I used this, it would scrape the PEI surface a little bit and scuff it up. Putting the painter's tape on there prevents you from doing that, so go ahead and do that. Next step, we're going to peel the backing very carefully away from the PEI sheet just a little bit, being sure not to touch your fingers against the adhesive. Just exposing a little bit of the surface. You can fold it back. What we're going to do is we're going to line it, take the bed, put it against a table, up, square it up. Okay. And press it down. 
Okay. This is where your spudger comes in. So it's very important as you go across the surface here to make sure that you take the air bubbles out. So as you go across, work the bubbles out because those will get to be bigger bubbles if you do not get them out. We'll continue on in a little bit. And as you work across, just peel a little bit more of this backing surface back as you scrub it out. So I've gone across the first pass. What I'm gonna do is come in here, grab the backing, peel it back a bit more all the way across. Like that. And you're gonna to work towards the opening, or towards the, the backing. You wanna get all those air bubbles squeezed out as you apply the adhesive. As so, try to get out as many as you, you won't get them all, but to get a majority of them. And repeat. What we're gonna do is continue all the way across the bed and we'll join back up once I work my way all the way across and we'll do the next step. One last thing guys to keep the bubbles down don't be in a rush to try to push the bed down in one in one movement. Very short movements will keep the bubbles from forming because you can squeeze them out so you want to take your time work your way across in very small motions and then very small motions left to right as well and that will keep the bubble formation to a minimum while you're putting the bed back together all right last step usually when you get a PAI sheet they're nice enough to give you one that's bigger than what you actually need so if you have them get a brand new sharp razor blade because the ones used on the glass bed are probably dull and what you're gonna do is carefully Work your way along the edge of the glass with the razor blade to trim it. Going very slowly, I find pulling downwards a little bit helps. You don't want to lift the bed or you don't want to lift the PEI off the surface. This is tough to get started. There we go. Okay. Slowly work your way around, trimming as you go. I'm gonna go all the way around the bed. We'll come back in a minute. Also be careful as you're trimming for these wires that you probably have if you have a heated bed to make sure you don't trim those. That would be a bad thing. So we'll come back in a minute. Okay, so that's how you install a new bed. Uh, after you get the edges cut, go around the outside with your finger. Look for sections you may have missed, small pieces of PEI that are overhanging, like I just did in this case. So go here, trim that off that and a friendly reminder that remember to use IPA wipe down your bed to get the oils from your fingers off of it since you've been working with it um, hope this was helpful to those of you who are going to be replacing your surface sometime soon that it's show you that it's not too bad um, obviously I'm not a videographer so I apologize for the poor shooting and I'm also rocking a wicked sinus infection so I'm sorry for the way I sound but hopefully this was useful for you guys uh, out there who need to replace their PEI surface. Thanks.